hey everyone welcome back to another new video i hope you all are doing very well so today i'm going to fix this motherboard and this time we have again hp elite book 840 g6 laptop motherboard and this motherboard turn on with no display so now i will try to fix this board so let's try to fix it okay uh, this is the motherboard part number this is the g6 laptop so this so let me show you the condition first let's plug it in light is blinking and as you can see it's turn on with low amps it's taking only 0 0.100 amps so at first i will check all the power rail evidence so I set my multimeter in diode mode. I put this red prop to ground. Let's check all the power rail step by step. Start from here. This is the main power rail. It's okay. And check 5 volt. This also okay. 3.3 volt. It's also good. This is for RAM. Remove the RAM. Okay, it's also good. This is a 2.5 volt. It's also good. 2.3 okay. One volt. This also good. This also good. Okay. It's 1.8, 1.5. <clears throat> 3 point secondary 3.3 point three volt secondary it's also good this is a 5.2 volt secondary it's also good now I'm going to check core voltage coil this is a VCCSA it's a 15 ohms perfect 3.3 .3. okay 3.2 this also okay this is ZFX 4.8 okay <clears throat> so all the power rail impedance is perfect there is no short circuit so now I will check some required voltage on this motherboard so let's plug in again set my multimeter in DC mode and now I will start its turn on I will start from main power rail so I can check here this current sense register we have 11.93 which is almost 12 so this voltage is ok and perfect then I will check this coil this is a 3.3 volt always and we have 3.3 volt this voltage is present so and it's perfect next I will check 5.2 volt power rail and we have 5.2 volt this is also good now I will check 1.05 as you can see this voltage is also present and it's perfect then I will check this 1 volt this also perfect let's check the 1.8 volt and we have 1.8 this voltage is also perfect now I will check VDDQ or RAM supply 1.2 this voltage is also good and now I will check 2.5 this bolt is also for RAM supply so it, this bolt is also present next I will check 1.5 okay it's turn off turn on again 1.5 this bolt is also present now I'm, I'm going to check secondary voltage the most important voltage this is a 3.3 volt secondary IC the, and I will check here we have 3.3 volt output here also 3 point ok 3.3 volt next I will check 5.2 volt secondary this is a 5.2 volt secondary IC or P channel MOSFET so let's check the source source is 5.2 check the brain okay here you go maybe 
we find out our problem as you can see here it's only 2 volt instead of 5 volt get is 0 get 0 means here should be present 5.5 volt so I guess this IC has damaged so let's check this under my microscope okay you can see this this is a P channel MOSFET this one for 5 volt secondary so source if I check source we have 5.2 volt in source but drain is 2.1 volt it should be 5 volt it's turn off when it's turn on the voltage is 0 that means the gate is working good so now I'm going to replace this parts on my donor board I hope after replace this channel MOSFET the board will be working condition again okay. this is my donor board So replace is done. So let's plug in again. And as you can see, it's now taking more than 500 milliamps. That means our problem is solved and we fix this board so let's check this voltage again source 5.2 when 5.2 get is 0 so when this board is off condition this gate will be high and on condition this gate will be low low means 0 high means 5.5 volt will be here So let's check the display is okay or not. As I always check. Let's plug in. And it's turn on. Okay, we have HP logo. So we successfully fixed this motherboard. We just change this P channel MOSFET and this board is back to live again. So thanks everyone for watching this video. I hope you all are enjoyed this video. If you like this video, so please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. If you already subscribe my channel, thank you so much.